everyone welcome back to a brand new video hopefully you guys are all doing well today in today's video we're going to be discussing everything we know about the up and coming december dlc update for gta online now for those of you that have been keeping up on the news you will know that over the past couple of weeks there have been a lot of rumors from trustable sources saying that we will be receiving a fairly major dlc expansion for gta online sometime later this year around december now this is also interesting because last year in december we did receive a pretty large dlc update in gta online which of course was the ko preco heist and the question really remains, what is it going to be this year and what can we expect? And that is exactly what we're going to be discussing in today's video. But before we get into that, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to show your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day, and right after that, went to the actual video. So today's shout out of the day goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as Cockpit Gaming. Now his channel is all about the love for racing video games, and specifically the Forza Horizon series. Now Forza Horizon is certainly one of my most favorite video games besides GTA 5, and it's really awesome to watch him review and cover virtually every single car in the game, ranging from mainstream models to really unique models that you certainly have not heard of before. And with Forza Horizon 5 just around the corner, which is a massive upgrade for the game with a ton of new cars, customization options, and everything in between, definitely make sure to subscribe to Cockpit Gaming by clicking the first link in the description down below for some really awesome videos that are uploaded all about Forza Horizon. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So with us getting into the last quarter of 2021, it's time to take a look back into what kind of DLCs we received so far in 2021 and how this year has been. Now I think it goes without saying that so far 2021 has been the slowest year in GTA Online in terms of new DLC content. In fact, this year we only received one major update, which of course was the Los Santos Tuners update. Now it certainly wasn't the best DLC ever, but it certainly wasn't the worst, but quite honestly I was expecting a higher amount of quantity DLCs this year, but unfortunately we only really received one major update and that has been it. Now over the past couple of weeks, we started hearing some interesting talk from a number of trustable sources in the community, such as test funds among others, discussing the possibility of a late year release similar to what we received last year with the KO Perico Heist update. Now according to Rockstar, the KO Preco Heist was the quote unquote biggest DLC they ever released, and while technically that is probably true, the amount of actual replayable content in the update is certainly not that much, but the scale of the update was certainly massive. I feel like the community is kind of split in terms of what they think about this update. Myself personally, I am not the biggest fan of it, but I also know people that really really love it. Now based on the rumors we have been hearing so far, it seems like we will be receiving some type of update later this year, either in very late November or early December, similar to what we had last year with Keo Perico. Now Keo Perico was announced on November 20th, and then the actual update released on December 15th, and that is very similar to the rumors that we are hearing this year as well. Now my personal prediction and my gut feeling right now, based on my knowledge of covering GTA Online for so many years and just reading what has been posted over the past couple of weeks, I personally think that we will be receiving a very similar update to what we received last year with Keo Perico, however it will take place in a new location with a new set of characters. So yes, that does mean that I am pretty confident that we will be receiving some type of new heist update that is at a large scale on a new location and map. I honestly think it would be so awesome for Rockstar to finish the map of North Yankton and to allow for us to have an online heist in that area. I think that would be incredible, it will be really well recepted, and then on top of that, the North Yankton map is pretty much like 75% created, so Rockstar can just go in, finish the rest of the map where they need to, and that is pretty much done for the most part. 
So that is my personal prediction. Again, I really hope for North Yankton, but really anything can come out of Rockstar. So far, we have not received even a single leak about what this location could be, but at the same time, it is worth noting that it is very possible that we could receive an update that is completely separate from what we're talking about right now. It could be delayed, it could be cancelled, or the leaks and rumors could simply be false. But anyway, we should be hearing more about that update, hopefully within about a month, and then of course later in December we will be receiving our yearly Fest of Surprise update, which comes every year, which honestly I'm really looking forward to because I kind of missed the snow in GTA Online, and I'm super looking forward to that specifically. But let me know in those comments down below, first and foremost, what do you think about the KO Perico update? Did you get a chance to play it? And if so, what are your thoughts? Do you like it? Do you not? Would you rate it one of the best DLCs in the game? And then on top of that, I would love to hear your thoughts about a location that you think would be good for a large scale heist if Rockstar were to release one later this year. Do you like the idea of having one in North Yankton, or do you have another place in mind that you think will be a better idea? Let me know what your thoughts are in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. And finally, if you're one of those people that is super eager to hear what this update is going to contain, we still have a little bit until that, I would say about a month or so, so keep your eyes peeled in mid to late November, and of course, as we do get closer to that release date, which is still a bit away, we will likely receive more information and more detailed information that we can cover. So as always, keep your eyes peeled on the Rockstar Games social media, the Rockstar Games Newswire, as well as this YouTube channel for the latest news surrounding all of that. But hopefully you found this video useful and hopefully you're finally caught up on the latest of what we're expecting in terms of the final DLC for GTA Online in the year of 2021. And if you found this video useful, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below if you have not already with those notifications on so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. And finally, quick production note, I will be away for the next couple of days, I am going on a little personal trip, so there will not be any videos in the next couple of days, I honestly do not expect Rockstar to reveal anything, but it seems as if it is my luck that every time I go on a trip, Rockstar decides to reveal something big, so keep your eyes peeled on the Rockstar Games Newswire and Rockstar Games social media in the meantime, but I will be back next week and videos will resume on their normal schedule. But either way, thank you again for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you very soon with yet another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day, and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.